sick of it. But you can tell, I haven't played this guitar in a long time. And it's amazingly in tune. And everybody see what it is, what it's supposed to be, is a, you know, Randy Rhodes polka dot flying V. But the guy that I had made it was a furniture guy. He made furniture. He only made two guitars his whole life. This is the last one he made. This was back in 2014. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And I go, dude, it's simple. It's a flying V. I, I should have been more specific, but this is the best sounding and playing, uh, almost. Yeah, even the Jackson uh, polka dot V. It looks nice, but the dots are wrong. They're the wrong size. They're an inch. They're supposed to be three quarters of an inch. Who knows that? But, and this is somewhere between three quarters and, and an inch. So it looks good enough. There's the back. This has got little buttons all over it. These are actually supposed to light up. There's, yeah, one. This is a, uh, a power, like a boost, because this is a pickup. This is a super distortion. DiMarzio PAF. This isn't hooked up. This is a was going to be a boost for this, but no. This is a coil split. I unhooked that. This is a kill, but I've used it to where. another black dot there's a button here I should just have them light up it look cool the glow blue to go between this working and not working well uh, the guy that wired it up the first guy not my tech he said just leave it I said you're right but I can't use this now so now I need him to redo this and this button will just bypass goes in but if anybody tell me what the difference is between this and Randy's besides this one having a truss rod and you know all that this is a tribute it's not an exact replica the body is actually he the uh, used a Gibson flying V for the specs kind of so Randy's is more shoop like you know these don't have these little shoulders look at neck head shoulders eh. but these don't these come out like a flying a Gibson V so he modeled it after a Gibson V which is fine because the body turned out bigger which fits me because if you look at Randy with his V it looks like a King V it's hanging down by his knees I mean the thing is ridiculous but it sounds great um <laughs> Sandoval doesn't know what he's doing. I've had two Sandovals. <laughs> no. So I got five uh, V polka dot V replica. All different. So this one's got a bow tie. Another one's got bow ties. And one has got another totally different thing. So, so this is just mine. So I'm looking at the videos. The ones where I'm talking, I get more people watching and commenting where i'm just playing it's dropping off sharply because i don't i'm out of stuff to play i don't want to play the music i'm writing because to me i'm i'm actually tired of it and i don't want to play it too much for you guys but the album's done i've got all 10 songs ready to go and i just got to record them uh so i just get stuck playing stuff where I turn on the I hit everything and I start and I hit E every time I always hit all those chords because then I can tell the guitar is tuned which this is amazingly because I have not played this in a long time look it up I don't know it's been months I can't remember so here we go. I, you know, I'd love to talk about stuff like Paul Stanley on CNN 
talking about feeding people and how they're doing it for the... You know why they're doing it? The tour needs to be pushed. It starts in a couple of weeks, and the sales are... Uh, I got my tickets for the forum. I'm going just because I'm a sucker, and I can use my disabled plaque. <laughs> and so I don't have to do anything. My friend will drive down. I'll get out. I'll get the ticket and the pass and he'll park the car and we go in he'll wheel me in and uh we'll sit in the disabled on gene side so if you're going to be at the forum in la on the 16th i'll be on gene simmons side in the disabled section look for me um unbelievably i do get recognized from youtube and usually it's from that Randy Rhodes video because that's got the most views, over way over 100,000. So, you know, do you want me to talk? I don't know. Do I talk about how Randy? Do I talk about the band days in the 80s and 90s? Do I talk about, you know, there's a million things I could talk about. Like waking up one day and going out to my garage where there was three Marshall stacks that all were Van Halen's. They were all Eddie's, but Eddie gives, you know, a few of his amps to Chris Holmes all the time because he feels indebted to him for letting him use the uh, his destroyer, his Ibanez destroyer, on Van Halen too because he screwed it up by doing the shark, but he didn't because if he would have taken those metal things out, it would have sounded the same. But Eddie didn't know. Eddie didn't know a lot of things. He took him years to learn. He's kind of like an idiot savant. No, you know I love Eddie Van Halen a lot, man. But, you know, he wasn't a genius. He was a genius, but he didn't know everything about what makes a good tone. He kind of stumbled on things like the amp. Read the story how he figured out how to get that sound. It's because he bought an amp. That wasn't made for U.S. It was the it was a English or a European, you know, voltage. So when he plugged it in, it took hours to warm up. It was a very low, you know, volume because of the power difference, 110, 220. But he said the sound was so incredible. He's like, I need that sound, but how? And he took it to his guy, this amp guy, and he figured it out. And that was the mod. That became the mod that everybody got. That I have on my white Marshall. And it sounds incredible. So, I could do that. I could talk. Uh, you know, how many Randy Road stories can I tell you? Not many. You know, we didn't party. We didn't hang out. We, you know, we ran into each other. We talked. You know, he lived over that way. Because I'm in Burbank, so... He's that way was the house is apparently up for sale I don't know because I haven't talked to anybody in the family for a while a couple months and uh, I just bypassed everything this time I didn't want to deal with it but I have my old band Blizzard the first official Randy Rhodes tribute band we're getting back we're back together I guess we're gonna start rehearsing in a week or two and uh, I don't play guitar, I play bass. There's no way I'd even tr try and touch that because I'm not gonna go up there and, oh, you see how I play. And what it, how long it's taken me just to get to this point, I'm gonna actually try to replicate Randy Rhodes on new, no, but it'll all be videotaped and you'll see everything. Me, bass, Ruben uh, on guitar, Joaquin, he was in Rat, and Stephen Pierce, he's living with Stephen Pierce now. Not, you know, but he lives with Stephen Pierce. He's going to be the drummer. He's great, as long as he's not, you know. And uh, then we'll get a couple singers. The old singer is going to come down from out of state and do one show with us, and then we're going to get another guy, and we're going to start doing it because it needs to be done right as a tribute to Randy Rhodes. Not Ozzy. Who cares about Ozzy? Not me. Okay, so there's your talking. That's a lot right there. I've blown. I don't have that much time. So I'll do a little playing to a drum beat. I got a new little pad, an iPad. 
So, damn thing is huge. I'm just going to select this syncopated groove rock beat, 110 BPM. Ready? We'll do that for a while, and then maybe I'll talk more, and I'll just cut the video in two. All right? Ask me what you want. This guy said, post videos of your old band. So not last yesterday's video, but another video. I have get it's got links to every band I've been in, you know, that I've talked about. Stiletto, there's link. I think we're playing the country club. Then Trick or Treat when we're on TV. The video's poor quality, but you get to see it. It's nothing like anybody else is doing in '87 in Hollywood, believe me. And then uh, Fatal Distraction, you know, the vampires. I put that up there, and then I even put up Terrace 49 because that was not a bad band. It was just 10 years too late. But people don't want to hear really that, I don't think. They want to hear me say about Ozzy. And here's the here it is, it, really quick. Sharon Osbourne is the reason Ozzy made it anywhere, because she pushed the, the druggy drunk and made that the story, this madman. And he was, because he was on everything. You, he, he's just a complete idiot. Will take anything. He started ants and licked up Nikki Six's pee. So <laughs> you got that guy who shouldn't have been. He shouldn't be alive still. But you get this guy, Randy Rhodes, who easily could have been up there with the best of all of them. Way better than any other guitarist that came out of L.A. except for Eddie Van Halen. Be Randy and Eddie, I think. That, those would have been the godfathers of L.A., you know, heavy metal, hard rock guitar, whatever. But as soon as Randy was taken out of the picture, which was early and quick, that was it. So, uh, you know, I can talk about that and how it wasn't an accident. It was actually a, a suicide, murder-suicide from ACOC, uh, the guy that was flying the plane. He wrote a letter. It was obvious to everybody that he was suicidal. The, the Tommy Aldridge talked about talking to him about, you know, the divorce. His wife was on the bus at the time. That's not told in all these stories, especially when Sharon is telling. And Ozzy is just, bah! he doesn't know. The guy had been up three straight days on cocaine. He wanted to kill himself, his wife. And if he could just get Ozzy or Randy in the plane or both, which he really wanted, but he couldn't. So he really, you know, he took up, you know, Rudy and a couple, he did two flights to get everybody, get their confidence. Then when he got Randy in the plane, he goes ape crap. When he knows Randy and the poor lady who's in her 50s, the hairdresser, is going to have a heart attack. And believe me. If you've heard any descriptions about, they could actually see the terror and the screaming, and you really want that's horrible. But then, boop, done. Sorry, next, get somebody in there, get that Torme guy in, not Bill Torme, the Velvet Frog, but you know the other guy. And then we get Brad Gillis, and then on goes the show. They finish that tour, they button that up, they get Jakey e. Lee instead of Craig Turner, which is a big mistake. Even if they would have got George Lynch, it would have been better than Jakey e. Lee, I think. And I don't like George Lynch. But the way it was just swept under the rug and they keep going, but they put the little tribute album. Did they put it out for Randy? Or did they put it out for Ozzy to get more money? It's always about, well, how much money this is going to be for Sharon and her doofus husband. Nah, who wants to hear about that? I was going to tell you, about, oh yeah, about Chris Holmes with the Marshalls. So I would go back there and play through Eddie Van Halen's amps. I'd have to adjust them to Eddie's specs. And I'd hit, I'm like, holy crap, it sounds like Van Halen. So I called out my friend who knew how to play Van Halen songs. And amazing to have those amps in the garage for, I think, about six months. We put a, we put a band together after Fatal Attraction called Rat Bastard. It was me. Trey from Fatal Attraction and Chris Holmes and I can't remember the drummer who it was and we had four or five songs to get down and then Chris J 
just couldn't keep it together. Which is, you know, I can get it. This is like right after he got booted out of, by Lita Ford and then booted out of Wasp. But then he got back in after that. Yeah. So there you go. I could talk about that and I do a little playing. So I'm going to do a little playing to this drum track that just went away. But you're getting playing whether you like it or not because I want to get it out of my system. Go. 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 <laughs> I love this. Hey, hey, I love it. Ah. I'm watching way too much pee with your nerves. Can you hear that?